What is going on guys my name is Mehul and welcome to your 18th Angular 2 tutorial in which we we'll are discussing about routing from the last two tutorials. So in this tutorial as I said I would just move this um, this thing right here which is kind of another component for app, our application because now we are not only restricted to a single page application but actually to a you know we have multiple pages set up for example the cart one for now only so to move this thing right out of here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a bit of file changes right here so I'm gonna say this is my component that app.ts so this is my application file now and again I'm gonna create a separate file which says component dot index dot ts so I've changed this to app.ts and I've created an index.ts and I'm gonna copy all of that and I don't need the route config or the cart for this file and again I don't need the selector because we'll be working on that on the app.ts yes I need template URL and yes I need style URLs I don't need directives because I'm not creating any child redirects right now I don't need route config and I need the my shop component so for the component app let's just trim this application a little bit we need all these three and we need another one and that is if you might have guessed the my shop component from <coughs> component dot index as you can see I have split the index file as well but there's are there are a bit of conflicts here so I'm gonna get rid of this template URL at all and I'm gonna type template and this would be the router outlet which would allow me to add different components and yeah if you I guess I haven't tell you what this router outlet is and this tag is actually basically this is a place where anything which you load via route config would get loaded so for example in the last application we were making use of the router outlet inside this index.html file so whenever I was on the cart page this component file executed and then all of the stuff which was returned by this component.card was directly copied into this router outlet so that was its role actually so again we don't need this because we are now creating a separate page for the cart so what we can do is that we can just leave it right that right there and for the component app.ts I actually don't need anything like that so and I have to change the name for this to avoid conflicts let's just say this is my main app and uh, for this I need to go to main.ts main app because again we are just component.app embodying that and bootstrapping that as well now alright now for this we are done we need to add another path and that is if the location is the home page then I want to have the my shop component and the name for this would be let's just say um, this should be what do you suggest let's just say this is home or we need a capital letter first home page why not so this is our home page and for now I don't want it to link to anything because that would be loaded by default whenever I visit my website and are we done I guess we are so inside this index no we don't need this in index we needed this in cart and I guess this would probably break the application because we were actually fetching the click event from a different page so we might need to make use of the local host uh, local host and just missing that on we need to make use of the local storage actually so to make it work and again some sort of 
problems with internet or angular code i guess this just says me can't bind to router link since it's uh, isn't a known native property all right router link okay so yeah so we need to make use of the directives here and what it would be the router directives and for that I guess we need to make use of this route config import as well but we don't need the route config module right let's just see how that works then for what is taking so much time I guess this file is taking a bit of time so I guess I can just get rid of that for now so as to because fonts are not important in the application so we have the following movies available but it doesn't look like we have any of those my movie list is empty because okay so I need this one inside my shop component as well because I'm making use of the inside this index.html not this one the the template one this index.html I'm making use of the ng4 so that is why I need this and again these images are not loaded because there's some sort of problem with my internet right now so anyways they are trying to load okay so if I click on my cart you can see that now we have a separate card page instead of just getting that ugly embedded card inside that same page so now this kind of looks like a route so if I click on my card we have this card but eventually we don't have anything right here because I'm missing a lot of events and actually I can just place the whole code here because I can just get rid of this at all actually I need all of that code right here so the final step what I need in implementing the simple card application is that I need to actually somehow style this page and the next thing is that I need to somehow push this cart this cart array into the local storage or somehow just transport it to this page this component to this component and let's just see if I make use of the local storage or passing of data between different components so for that don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next tutorial